Welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. The three keys to your success is just moments away. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. I am so excited, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have an amazing, amazing guest expert on tonight. I have met this magnificent woman on two separate occasions and experienced what she has to offer you firsthand. And all I can tell you is it was magical, magical, uh, amazing. And we're going to get into what it is this amazing woman provides for a lot of people, uh, corporations, teens, uh, adults, families, amazing, amazing. The results are just off the charts. And it, for me, it came to mindset. It really ingrained into my mind uh, some wonderful things. And I'm not going to give away the farm because I, we want to learn it from her. Uh, and her name, you love her, Terry Lynn Werner. Cannot wait. Oh, I'm excited. We are going to soar to new heights tonight. There was a hint there. And success. This show is about showing you how to model, how to learn to follow successful people because it's that simple. People make it too hard. They want to make it too hard. I used to try to make it too hard. What I found in my now almost 55 years on this planet, birthday is this month, just saying, um, that when I followed those people that were successful versus you know hanging out and learning from those who may not be where I want to be, I only followed people that were successful at a certain point in my life and began noticing patterns. I said, what makes them tick? What makes them different? Why are they successful? And I'm not. Well, I began to find patterns developing and they, those patterns usually bubbled up into three primary categories, which you may guess that is of mind, body, and business. Mind is mindset. And typically I like to go into the subconscious level, but it's really both the, the conscious and subconscious levels that most successful people have developed a very rock solid, positive, empowering mindset and they keep it that way. Uh, they're human and things happen, but with this rock solid mindset all reprogrammed in their brain, they are much easier, they have a much easier path towards success. And then there's body. That's about taking care of your body. It's that simple. It's about putting in good, wholesome nutrients, those that were designed for humans to eat, not those that were processed and chemically altered. Uh, and also about moving, exercising. Uh, and the thing I always say is the mind and body, they are a team. And more importantly, the mind and body are your team. And if your team, any one member of your team is not playing at its fullest capability, then you as a team are suffering and you are not operating at what I like to call a peak level of performance, hence the name of my company. And then there's business. Business is multifaceted. There's sales, uh, there's marketing, team building, scaling, systematizing, the list goes on. There are many, many facets of uh, business to master. And the thing is, is those that I found are successful, like the young lady you are about to be introduced to on this show, have mastered all three of these areas. They've mastered them. And Terry Lynn is one such individual. And oh, I cannot wait. It's going to be very soon, I promise, that we're going to bring her on. Uh, one of the things about successful people, there's so many things, but all you have to do is learn and model one person you know that has the results that you want. That's it. That's what I did. And Terry Lynn knows who I'm talking about. I had a mentor that I uh, came to her facility with at one point. Uh, I said, I, I want what this, this young man has. And I modeled him. And that's why I'm achieving success I've never seen before in my life. All you have to do is model. It's simple. Isn't that easy? Isn't that great? You don't have to reinvent the wheel. I'll make it, you know, you, you hereby have my permission to model us. Copy. That's what it means. It's a fancy word for copy just copy success and when it comes to success another great trait of successful people is we love to read and not just any book but pertinent books books that really make a difference in our life and with that we're going to segue over into a section i've appropriately named bookmarks bookmarks born to read bookmarks ready steady read bookmarks brought to you by reachyourpeaklibrary.com yes reachyourpeaklibrary.com and real quick before we continue take out a pad of paper and a pen and take notes rather than taking off and typing in website addresses because we're going to be giving you some resources as the night goes on please resist the temptation to go elsewhere because honestly the magic happens as they say 
right here in the room. You do not want to miss Terry Lynn Werner and her amazing value that she is bringing very, very soon. We're going to have some fun too, so don't get me wrong. We're, this is going to be a blast. Stick with us. So reachyourpeaklibrary.com is literally a website I put together for you. It's like my gift to all aspiring and even current uh, and successful entrepreneurs to give you a place to go where I have actually sorted through and filtered many books down to a small list here of 40. There are more that I need to add here, but these 40 I've personally vetted to give you actual value to have an impact in your life. I wouldn't put them here if they didn't have impact in my life. Many of them are business centric, some are personal development. It's, it runs the gamut of different categories. So for you, the entrepreneur, um, whether you're, what, no matter where you are in your, in your walk with entrepreneurship, there are some books here for you. If you're not reading voraciously now, then consider getting in the habit right now. I found that, that out the hard way. Uh, there's a story at the top of this website. You can find all, out all about that there. I'm not going to go into it here. I waited a long time in my life to become a voracious reader, and I'm so glad I started. I am so glad uh, years ago, and now I'm consuming books left and right. This show, though, is not about me. This show is about our special guest expert, and with that, I think it's time we bring her on. What do you say? Yeah, I say let's do that. Here we go. <laughs> It's time for the Guest Expert Spotlight. Savvy, skillful, professional, adept, trained, big league, qualified. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. The one, the only, Terry Lynn Werner. Yes, I can. Oh, I'm so excited to have you on here, Terry Lynn. It's been so long since we've last seen each other. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You've got me all pumped up just listening to you, just to let you know. <laughs> all right. Speaking of being pumped up, I mean, no one's more pumped than I am because I, I truly mean, and I can't wait to get into the details of this. We will in a moment. Uh, you know, the, de the, the results that you and Red both imparted upon myself mm -hmm. and my wife, who came to the first uh, event out at your facility, and I'm, I'm being coy for a reason. And then the second time with my son, it had profound impact on all of us, all three of us. And mm -hmm. I just, I can do nothing but say thank you for mm -hmm. you and, and Red and what you guys have accomplished through your company called SOAR. I love that uh, company. So real quick, I wanna formally introduce you, Tara Lynn, but before I do that, I wanna remind everyone watching and listening that's here live, we do this every show, Stay to the very end where you can find out how you can win a five night stay at a five star luxury resort in Mexico. This is all compliments of my good friends at powertexting.com. Amazing, amazing platform. All entrepreneurs and business people should be using powertexting.com if you're not already. Terry Lynn began in human development and became a transformational trainer. She started working with teens up in Big Bear, California on the ropes course. This is an amazing course. And they, the teens, stole her heart. She closed her giftware manufacturing company in Beverly Hills. So she, that was a big decision, I, I do not doubt. And moved to Big Bear to work with youth. Yes. She realized that the parents of these youth needed as much growth as the teens. So she started working with corporations and adult groups throughout the country as well. Thank goodness she did because I got to express, or, uh, experience this. Today, her company, SOAR, provides programs indoors and out for schools, universities, leadership, and corporate groups, church groups, and many more. The theme always comes back to being in relationship and being an authentic, courageous human being. With that, I want to now, finally, formally introduce Terry Lynn Werner, so, so, Ah, oh, blessed that you are here tonight. Can't wait. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, one of the things I love to open up with on this show many times, uh, Terry Lynn, the yes. thing is that bio is, is phenomenal. It shows who you are, how you love people, how you love serving. You gave up a business, a flourishing business in Beverly Hills, moved to the hills, the, the woods, literally. Uh, it's beautiful there. I see why you did it. Uh, but what a, what a big shift. And the thing is, you're very successful. You have, um, you have facilities in different areas of the country, and you're very successful at what you do. And I always wonder, okay, I read the bio. I can see on the surface what she's done, her accolades, her experience. But I love to get a little deeper and find out 
and this is true of everyone I've interviewed, is to find out what really gets you going, especially at the start of each day. So let's say you're waking up. Yes. You're getting up out of bed. You swivel over. Your feet hit the floor. You're already going through it. I see it on your face. And then you're coming to. And if you're like me, you're a little groggy in the, in the beginning. And you're starting to come to. And then you realize it's the start of a new day. And the awareness of everything starts. And then you begin going, I'm ready. I can't wait to take on the day. The drive kicks in. The motivation kicks in. For you, Terry Lynn, what are those thoughts that are going through your head? What is driving you and motivating you to get started each and every day to go serve more people? Fantastic question, Brian. Um, for sure, it is the the thought that goes through my mind and the question I ask myself is, if today were my last day, who am I? What do I want? Well, what do I want to say happened? And to see the faces of the people, you know, and knowing I have an opportunity to make a difference. It is a cup of coffee first. I cannot lie. <laughs> and, and then the hiking boots out the front door. But that's what it is. And I'm on the planet with a purpose. And I, I have no doubt about that. And I've chosen that for sure. And I can um, attest to that. Having been around you, there is no doubt. You're positive. You just you ooze a positive presence always. I've even seen you, you know, when we're in between, um, what shall I call them? Exercises? I don't know what to call them. Mm -hmm. uh, while we're going through the rope course, <clears throat> I can look off and see you and Red having a chat, and I can see you smiling the whole time. You're just nonstop, even behind closed doors, a positive woman. And I get you're also a human being, and there are times where I'm sure you're not feeling that positive, but that's okay. It's all about maintaining it. And I'm just curious, is there anything you do uh, specifically, like maybe routine wise, maybe discipline wise, maybe something you learned in the past that helps you maintain a positive, productive and successful mindset and, you know, to be able to sustain it on a regular basis. Is there anything you do to do that? Sure. Absolutely. And I think you kind of just alluded to it and that I don't, I feel that um, if we base all of our action on the way we feel, guess what? We're going to be in big fat trouble because not always is that cup of coffee exactly what I wanted as I rolled out of bed. So it's really important to have a commitment that is so passionate and that there, you know exactly what the why. Never, ever lose the why of what you're up to. And so that's, that's really what keeps, gets me going. And sometimes I do have to kind of like bop myself in the head um, and say, okay, who cares? Let's do this. So... I love that. And the why. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, I, there's actually a, a process that you can go through. I've, went, I've gone through it several times to determine what my why was. I went through it once. Okay, I know what my why is. I went through it again. Huh, same thing. Went through it a third time. Just out of curiosity. Would it change? Nope, it's the same. And for every person, it can be different. Uh, yeah. It's very unique to each individual. For me, my why, why I get out of bed, why I do this show why I exist on this planet is because of my wife. It came that way every single time. And uh, I love her beyond words, beyond description, but that's my why. What is your why? You watching this show, um, you listening to the show, uh, what is your why? The why that no matter what happens, you're, you're now in this new, maybe you're on a new venture, your new business, and there's a lot of stress, a lot of unknowns, a lot of limiting beliefs, so many things are flying at you. What is that one why that you will, you know, based on that why, you will never quit. You will never give up because it's too important to you uh -huh. to go forward. And that, so thank you. That's a powerful, powerful statement. I just want to expand on that a little bit because it is that powerful. If you don't have a why, you know, we go into a business, right, Terry Lynn? You just, you, you made a big transition. I can imagine the turmoil going on at that moment in your head. And then for quite some time past it, did I make the right decision? Oh my gosh, I got to build this thing and everything that goes with it. But your why was obviously solid or you probably wouldn't have made it to where you are today uh, because you did that. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago and you're already very successful in a short period of time, relatively speaking. So it's obvious you have a very strong why. So that's a, a very good point. Thank you for bringing that up. For sure. I want to... Um, you know, I want to ask you a little bit before we go any further about what you do, what you and Red do out there at SOAR, just to kind of frame it a little bit to, so people understand where you come from, how you love serving people, what results you've seen, you know, the kind of people you cater to. I know that's a lot, but if you don't mind, I would love to hear more about SOAR, uh, like what's what got you started and then 
what is it what does it entail you know that we've been talking about these rope courses what is that and mm -hmm. then uh how did what kind of results have you seen transformation in people would that be okay oh absolutely thank you and it yeah this is exciting um so like you mentioned i originally uh began i came up to big bear to work with inner city youth and and I said, I, w I refuse to work with adults. I don't even know if I like adults very much, but the kids I can handle, right? So um, I moved up to work with them. And as I was finishing with these, these kids, the parents would come and I'd take a look and go, oh, ooh, we have another set, because we're sending these young people who we've just opened up a container, they've just made new commitments in their life, they've just learned all these tools, we're sending them home to their families. Families love you, but we don't. they don't always know what to do. So from there, I started working with a lot of corporations, a lot of leadership adult groups and judges and lawyers and Home Depot executives, you know, that, that type of a thing. So that um, what we do is we work with organized groups and it does, let's say from middle school through high school, up through college groups, again, then stepping into leadership groups, adults, and then corporations. So we really cross the entire gamut. Um, and so these group, we, they could come in groups of 30, they could be coming in groups of bus of kids of 200. Um, I have an amazing, amazing team of, pe of people. They are sore. I will tell you, they, they are it as far as I'm concerned. And there's about 30 of us. So the groups will come and we start with some activities like you mentioned um, that are all done like on the ground and learning how to work as a team, um, developing leadership along the way. And the coolest piece, Brian, about it is that we're outdoors. Half the time people don't even know they're learning anything because they're having so much fun, they're being challenged, and they don't realize that the way they're behaving and interacting is how they uh, operate in life. And so our beautiful facilitators are trained to ask those questions. And sometimes the question could be as simple as this, and it's a great model, so write this one down, you guys, is what worked, what didn't, what's next? So with a group of kids, they may say, well, what didn't what worked was we got the ball in the bucket but what didn't work is we didn't have a plan and we talked on top of each other that wasn't working so moving into this next activity what do you guys want to take with you as we build on this and they'll they'll answer the question well i think we should listen to each other i think maybe a leader should rise up um we should have a plan and there you go so we're going to take that on to the next activity so Though that we do that in the, the the front end of the day, and then we have a nice little lunch, real quick, about forty five minutes. Then we suit up, and what that means to suit up is put on harnesses and helmets and ropes, and you have the opportunity with your team on the ground on your rope to climb, maybe about forty feet in the air. And those activities again are processed and debriefed, so you're not just jumping for a trapeze 40 feet near we have you identify sometimes what are you jumping into but what are you leaving behind and then to to identify what that trapeze means to you and then you go for it and there, of course you're looking down at your team at the ground and say do you have me you know so that that's what we do everything is processed and debriefed um and i think the thing that soar does brilliantly and i love it so much is they transfer it into practical application so when our groups leave the mountain or where, whatever site we're at they don't have the question well why that was really fun you know what was that hula hoop about or why did i have to jump off of something so we transfer it back into saying for instance what's something in your life that you really want well i want a better relationship with my family but I realized I had a hard time leaving that tree. I had a hard time embracing that fear, but I wanted it so bad. And today I got that trapeze. So it never gets old, ever, ever. So that's, that's what we do. Yeah, and oh, I'm going through the memories as you're saying all that, and I'm just smiling ear to ear. And Kate Cutler, by the way, is watching and said, ah, two amazing people with heart, heart, heart. Hi, Kate. She is one of the wonderful human beings that I got to uh, experience this with. Yes. Uh, it was amazing both times. And both Kate and Mel, her husband, Mel is my mentor. He is an amazing young man. Uh, I, I, can't, I cannot speak highly enough of the experience both times. They were both uniquely different. 
and both uniquely powerful. Uh, the emotions, so I don't want to scare people off. There were emotional times, but those are only emotions that come up within you if they're present. It's yes. not like they're being evoked. Uh, there was at one point, I'm, a, I'm like a 6'2", kind of a big guy. And at one point, I was literally bawling like a baby out of, out of sheer gratitude and happiness. And it didn't bother me mm -hmm. at all, in the least. I didn't know. I didn't know it was coming. It just hit. It just something that I needed to release. It was phenomenal. It had to do with my son directly. I remember it so well. And it was just such a golden, beautiful moment. And I was there amongst family, right? It's the people yes. you're going through this with. You become tighter than ever. So this is phenomenal for corporations. It's phenomenal for, I don't know if you deal with families directly. Um, I got to do this with family members, uh, one each time, a separate family, once with my wife, once with my son. It was phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal. And the, the exercise, they were fun. It was challenging. It stretched us both, not really physically sometimes, uh, but mostly mentally, and that's what I loved about it, is there's a lot of, ah, oh, just so much, Terry Lynn. I, I mean, I could go on and on. The trust that you, uh, that you mentioned, you need to have trust in your teammates at times. Um, and that's a great thing because not everybody trusts other people. There's a lot of people that have, the ego is kind of big and they just won't let go, let go of that ego. <laughs> yes, yeah. And, oh, it, the, and the, the result was just so profound, Terry Lynn, what you and Red do. And, um, and then the in-between talk, oh gosh, so powerful. You know, you do the exercise and then there's either you or Red or both taking you through those questions similar to what you said and then going deeper. And you guys do it so soulfully, so lovingly, so genuinely. There, there's just no way to describe, uh, I will love you both forever, forever. It's just those, the first time was all it took. You had me at the first one, Terry Lynn. <laughs> I'm, glad you, I'm glad you came back for round two, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> me too. That was, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Phenomenal. Uh, so yeah, I could talk about this in all, all evening long. SOAR is the name of the company. We'll give you the contact information before it's SOAR team, I think is the full name. Um, and we'll give you the contact information. Stick with us. Don't go Googling it. So go ahead and write down SOAR, S-O-A-R. That's an acronym, I believe. Uh, it's all caps and then team, T-E-A-M. Uh, and then go look at that later. We'll give you contact info here in just a moment. I uh, want to dig deeper and get back in, on track with business and entrepreneurialism um, and how you achieved your success. Everyone achieves success uh, in their own way, oftentimes similar ways though. And I'm always very intrigued on how that path uh, develops and what worked for you personally versus someone else. I mean, it's, it's, it's only your life and it worked for you. So what was that? So when it comes to developing skills as an entrepreneur, if you were to pick three, the top three that you have developed what were the top three skills that you developed that you needed to become a successful entrepreneur? Okay. Okay. Vision. I would say for sure having a vision that you can taste and feel and wear and scream about nonstop. So it's, it's more than just an idea. It's, it's that vision. And to the degree that you actually see it already done. And now we work backwards. And it's, it sounds crazy, but I saw this company and then I, I actually saw the facilitators, the whole thing and said, okay, this is something happening here. Cause I can, it was burning in my soul. So then I went through the steps and the, um, let go of how I felt. Like I said, there were times, oh my goodness, I was so afraid. Like, what the heck have I done? I've stepped into and that feeling of, well, now I can't get out, <laughs> which was probably the best thing that ever happened because I had all, I was in all fours. Um, and then I shifted to the get to Brian and the get to, I think is a really big piece that you don't have to do it. You can go work for somebody else. You can do something, whatever, you know, go sell real estate, whatever it is that you want to do, but to, um, and keep committed to that and always do it as a get to. So when your feet hit the more in the morning, you don't have to get up. You get to get up because there's good stuff waiting for you. <laughs> um, so that that was a big piece of it. Um, I love people. So my why is very, very clear. Um, I see a bigger um, view of this world. I believe that people are good without a doubt. Do I think their behavior necessarily lines up with their goodness? No, I don't. Not because they're bad people. 
I believe after working for 25 years doing this and uh, oh gosh, hundreds and thousands of people later that people want the same thing. And that is to be in relationship so badly, so badly. That's where the tears come from, Brian, because they want it so bad and they get out there and they start getting a little taste of it and they don't know how. So to always, no matter what, hang on to that. Why? Um, because that's, what's going to drive you. And you can make the most amazing difference. And in my, I say it kind of big, but change the planet, you know, and that's, that's what people are looking for to feel significant, um, to feel special, to live their greatness and to be in relationship in an authentic way where you can feel it, that there's not that void. So again, that you can tell just, and again, this, I've been doing this for a long time, but that I know it's like, it's a knowingness and it's a passion and I have chosen it as my responsibility. And it's so fun to say, because it's my responsibility till I'm off this planet. I am feeling responsible to make that difference because of the gifts I've been given for sure. How'd I, I was that? taking notes. You weren't supposed to end yet. <laughs> I can keep going, believe me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, so please, if you're taking notes, uh, if you haven't been taking notes, please do and, and write this down because this is amazing value. I mean, 25 years success, uh, it just obviously huge success uh, and vision, you know, actually seeing it done. How many of you have looked at the end result and said, yes. this is where I want it to go. This is where it's going to go, not where I want it to go. It's going to go. And I love how you said, and then work it backwards and see it in your soul. And, you know, it, it's, it's awesome to take that vantage point. I haven't heard, actually heard this in quite some time. And it's a nice reminder, you know, whenever you're visualizing something to see it at the result at which you deem it to be successful, that you're looking for the end goal. And really, I mean, see it, feel it, smell it, taste it, everything. I mean, put yourself in the moment. Uh, I love that. And then, oh, oh, get to instead of have to. Oh my goodness, I preach this all over the place um, to my apprentices. And I say, look, you know, if I hear him say, oh, I have to do this, is it? Um, let's consider reframing that. And so I use the story of, well, you know, I have to go do the dishes. Right. You know, even then I'll say, well, oh, I just said I have to. OK, in my mind, I say, well, I get to. And that totally changes the whole the whole landscape, because wow. now it's a blessing, not a curse. It's like Absolutely. I have dishes, which means, well, I have something. I have a kitchen and there, that means I have a sink and I might have a dishwasher. In my case, we do. That means, you know, depending on your situation, I have a house or I have a place to live in. I'm blessed. And all these wonderful things start coming up, even subconsciously, if you just say it and don't even think about it. Uh, it just changes the, your whole frame, your whole mindset. You become a more positive individual on a regular basis automatically by simple reframes, just like Terry Lynn mentioned. Say, I get to rather than I have to. And just, I love how you also said, it's my responsibility. Oh, more than, Brian, mm. Brian, I, the, I, I can't tell you how exciting it is to say that. And it was, it was just recently that I really got it and I, I nothing would stop me it doesn't matter how i feel like i said it is it's so exciting and the get to and all of that is fun it put the joy back in it puts peace in there and it's fun doggone it you know and we're you know it's, this is our life we don't get today back right so let's have some fun while we're doing all this so yeah it's it's a neat neat feeling to have that yeah fun what a concept what you mean you're giving us uh, you're giving us the permission to have fun terry lynn come on Yes, yes, yes. For sure. I thought it was this four letter word, word, you know, work, but no, I'm kidding. Yeah, it, it's so important to find something that you can have fun in. Even if yeah. you're doing something that isn't uh, inherently fun, find a way to make it fun. I always say this. I, I, I brought my kids up this way. I said, you know, I've been around too many serious people. I mean, they're serious at all times and they're just dead on. And I'm like, man, that's almost not human. And so I tell my kids, there are time. there is a time and a place to be serious. And there is a time and a place to be yeah. Uh, jovial and have a good time and there's far fewer times for the serious part than there is the, the happier part so enjoy your life yes. be serious when it's necessary and only then you know but do be serious there are times when you need to be serious and I, I, I want them to understand that but I want them to understand more importantly life is about joy about having fun and, and enjoying every moment if you can and we can right Terry Lynn we have choice yeah, we have choice in everything that we do. Yep. 
And that's, that's the key. Everyone goes, oh, my life sucks, oh, it's that and the other. It's like, well, you chose for your life to suck because that's your own internal representation of where you are today. You can easily right now on at this moment say, my life's pretty fantastic, actually. I am above the ground. I'm not six feet under. I, I have when I work with when I work with teens, they'll say, "Oh, I'm so bored," and then they they want to wring my neck when I say, "You know what? It's because you're really boring." <laughs> right? And they're like, "Did she really just say that to me?" <laughs> <laughs> and that is a, one of the many traits I love about you is you know you get right up. I mean, right here, and you like look into. I can just speak for my own. I, we did compare notes, but it's like you can look into our soul and you have this an unbelievable ability to really get people very quickly. And I remember you were looking at, at me and you actually look back at Red and go and look to him and go, are you seeing what I'm seeing? And he's like nodding. I'm like, what are they talking about? This is kind of freaking me out in a cool way. I was like excited. What are they doing? And when you told me what you told me, I was like, how did you know that? Oh, my God. So it's, it's, it's deeper than just a rope course. There's so much to what SOAR, the SOAR team has to offer. Uh, it's hard to put it into words, and I just recommend everyone reach out and connect with Terry Lynn and Red after the show is over. Uh, you know, write down the information, connect with them, and get more information about what this is all about. Uh, you, will not, you, will, you will not regret it in any way. Uh, and, and you can tell just by talking to her right now, looking at her, listening to her, She's a wonderful person. She loves people. They're going to just do anything that's the best for you. That's all they have in their mind. She's responsible for you to write your relationship. She's responsible. That's, that's her. She's saying, I'm responsible for this. And she takes it very seriously. And I know this firsthand twice. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps again just thinking about all of it encompassed. You know, everything, the camaraderie, the, the team play, the just the outpouring of love, you read your unbelievable, undeniable care of other human beings is just off the charts. I wish there were more people like you on this planet, uh, many more. Um, just love you guys dearly. Um, let's see. You know, uh, you mentioned some keys to being, to being successful, and uh, maybe can we, I guess... I don't know if it's a chunk up or chunk down or sideways chunk, but when it becomes, you know, I mentioned in the beginning, there are patterns to success and I found three of them. It's mind, body, business. And that doesn't mean those are the only patterns. I just found that being a commonality. There are other ingredients yes. to the recipe for success. Yes. Uh, do you personally, Terry Lynn, believe there is some sort of pattern or formula to becoming a successful entrepreneur? And if so, could you outline one? Shifting our thinking of what we're going to get from somebody or anybody and to ask ourselves, who do I get to be? What can I contribute? What can I give? And I was thinking about someone said about Einstein can't even figure this one. It couldn't figure this one out either. But it comes around the abundance and all this, all of it, it comes around when we're operating from that place. One of the reasons I can see, like you were mentioning into the soul, and I'm very humbled when you say that or when others say that, is the willingness to look at that human being that is standing in front of you deeply. They're gonna tell you everything you need to know, but to be so present, and it doesn't matter if you're asking someone to invest in your organization, um, or you're um, uh, enrolling somebody in your company, um, they know, people know, they don't necessarily know what they're seeing, but if your ego is in the way and you're having a conversation really based in fear, that's what comes across. It comes across as inauthentic. It comes across as um, doubting your own self, doubting your own vision instead of being so present with another human being. And it feels so good to do it, um, to be able to connect. And again, like I said, to all of our groups, and it doesn't matter young or old, when I ask them, what is it? Why are you here? What are you looking for? They're saying relationship, connection. But how can we connect unless we are authentic? So being an entrepreneur, you're going to be in front of a lot of people and with a vision that's pounding in your heart, get present, 
get so present and again get your ego out of the way because it doesn't serve you in anything and it keeps you from really truly knowing who you are and living your greatness and we all as far as i'm concerned i believe when we embrace it we're all made for greatness so the question is what is that to eat for each of it each each person has their idea of that um and to never stop dreaming don't when you do a vision don't go little go big why not you know so and and uh surround the other thing because i have a whole bunch of things but, uh, that really work the other one is your tribe to really look at who you are surrounded by who you're bringing in as what we call our friends or our mentors and and just like you were saying you have a beautiful male mentor um people who want you to win that are excited about you being successful that care about you as a human being um that will be be honest that's the other thing it'll call you out you know you did that kind of a tribe that says okay terry lynn that didn't go so well <laughs> you probably don't want to do that one again you know that that kind of a person um so i think that's extremely important and to have somebody who holds you accountable because there are times that we go sideways and you know to have that person who says okay you said you're going to do these last five things are you on number three yet and if what's in your way what's what's the excuse you've come up with what's your roadblock what's your roadblock let me be with you in that so i think those are all really key components to it i love them all uh, accountability i that's one of the things i used to be in the fitness industry i recently transitioned but it's it, it holds true no matter where you are you need an sure. accountability partner at least one uh, and oftentimes that can be a coach and i highly recommend uh, hiring a coach paying for a coach because that's when you take it seriously is when you have skin in the game and yes. then uh what who do i get to be that's so wonderful um how you said that and what can i give you know take it away from what am i going to get from this and yes. i love I, there's an exercise i started doing and now it's 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 default that to help others that might not be there yet when you're say in a circle of entrepreneurs you're at a networking event a seminar a workshop a boot camp etc and you're at a break and everyone's around the circle and you're just itching and dying to tell everybody what you do because you need to get the business right uh and the thing is is to resist that and instead ask how you can serve them what is it you do and how may i help you yes right and then listen don't just keep thinking what am i going to say how am i going to react and tell them what i do wait for them to open that door they will it works yeah. every single time and it's a wonderful thing and what you say is absolutely true it always comes back uh just that attitude whether it's in that uh, situation or others always look to what you can do for others uh and then circle back it'll come back it just yeah. does it but does. don't do it with that in mind don't do it thinking well if i go this way i'm gonna get it back do it without even knowing it's coming back knowing there's nothing coming your way do it completely yeah. pure and then yes. oh my gosh look out it's amazing and i will tell you and i know this for sure so it's a little selfish on my part i cannot lie because i get so much joy when i contribute i just do so i'm all filled up and what i get back is knowing that i contributed to somebody else so i do get some no matter how you slice that banana <laughs> <laughs> that's phenomenal yeah it's, and look ladies and gentlemen this is success defined terry lynn werner listen to her she is telling you these are the recipes the ingredients for the recipe of success that has taken her and catapulted soar to all new heights um, and continually growing and getting higher all the time authentic relationships all oh, there's so much going on here friends who you hang out with yes um that's big uh, i actually I, I didn't literally do it, but I did fire a friend uh, several years ago. Uh, it just became toxic. Actually, two of them now that I think about it. And I still love them dearly. It's just I didn't need to hang out with them anymore because it became toxic and it wasn't serving uh, my purpose or my family. And it wasn't, I just, you just got to move on. You have to. Uh, and it can be tough, but, um, and I love that, you know, you guys are honest. You you are always honest during these, uh, these uh, events that we went to. Uh, of yours you guys were brutally honest with us in a loving way yes and and that all that did was get the results we needed yes. that and that as an entrepreneur isn't that really the important part terry lynn is not really the the pieces that get you there but the results at the end are the most important yes. so even if your feelings might be hurt a little bit along the way but you got the results at the end 
guess what? They're going to love you. <laughs> like I love Terry Lynn and Red. They're going <laughs> to love you immensely for taking them through that process. At the moment, it may not be comfortable. It's like, it's like not really. I was thinking disciplining your kids because we weren't being disciplined. But you do that from love to correct an, a behavior that is not serving them. That's it. You're just correcting a behavior, helping them to correct it themselves. That's what you and Red do. And uh, it's amazing. It's just, oh. So I knew this was going to happen, Tara Lynn, that you were going to just ooze value throughout this show. And I appreciate you so much. We're far from done. I just want to point that out real quick because I so appreciate you. I uh, was so excited and looking forward to this. Um, and so happy that Kate came on. And hopefully Mel's there by her side watching as well because I love them dearly as well. Um, yes. Another thing you have done very successfully, very masterfully, is you've created your organization, your, the, you know, the people that are around your, your facilitators, I think you refer to them as, and they are the ones that are carrying the torch and um, actually implementing the, the rope, course, uh, rope courses with your clients today, uh, right across the country, different uh, areas. How do you find these people? How do you find the right people to bring into your organization? You know, these are like ones that truly, truly care about the organization that you do. Because in your case, I know, I know from going through it, they have to care about it as much as you do in order for your clients to get the results like I got. How did you do that? How did you find those people? Well, I, I, this is my favorite part of the show. Just to let you know, I have the best team ever, ever, ever. And like I mentioned, there's 30 of them. And the, what we're looking for is not someone who has technical skills about how to work with ropes and harnesses. We're looking for people who wear their heart on their sleeve. Mm. That when, and I call, I love this, this saying, is that when they that client shows up, we say, let's get naked right then that means authentic and available and and um kind and compassion and just really bringing them in so um we run ads just like a normal organization um and a lot of our people are teachers that it, they just kind of gravitate towards um this kind of work but in the interview process that is extremely unique and we warn them before they get there. We're not gonna ask them where they wanna be in five years. That's not the kind of interview. Um, actually, when they walk in, we seat them at a desk and give them a piece of paper and some crayons. And we ask them a question and ask them to please draw it. And then from there, they present this picture. And of course, it's a heartfelt question. Um, and then they present the picture and then we take the interview from there. And we're looking for authentic, authentic people who want to be a contribution to people, people who believe that we really can make a difference and change this world. And the interview goes to that level. And um, we don't hire everybody that we interview. Um, and there are just certain people that are suited. And again, my team, I wish I hope every single one of them are listening. They probably are. They have that same burning vision to make a difference with people. And at the end of our programs, as we do our debrief, we sit and we, it's, it's hard because we do have to go home sometimes, but we ask the question, okay, your highlights, what were your highlights? And the tears that just come out of the staff saying, I had a, a, a little boy today that was extremely overweight. We got to the team wall. He didn't want to go. And I, and he said he couldn't do it. And the team behind him said, I believe that you can. And then he, and then my voice came in as the facilitator. And I said, you know what? I think today is your day. And I have no doubt if you surrender to this team that you're going to go over that team wall and doggone it. You know, this, ch this child's life changes as they surrender into their arms and to go over that team wall. So th those stories are nonstop. And that's what they want to talk about at the end of the day. And it happens with adults too, like it, Brian, like you mentioned, it's not just with the kids, when the kids rock, by the way, um, but it's also with adults that may have realized that they had sunk into being inauthentic, that they were based in fear. And they say, that's why I can't even keep a relationship. And the tools that you gave me and the fact that you said that I'm really a nice person today and that you saw my magnificence, 
that's a voice of a staff. That's a voice of a, a person who cares. So that that's if I were to say what who are who is my team, there are a bunch of people that care. Like no kidding, they get to. Um, and the other thing I love is when they if they're not working um, often enough, they'll say, "I need to get a sore fix." Is what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, yeah, I would love a sore fix too. Yeah, so it, 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 that's how we find them. Again, people with hearts on their sleeve, right? That, so that is remarkable, Terry Lynn, especially the last part. What does that say about your leadership? What does that say about what you have created that they want so desperately to work more? They want to come back and get another fix of that wonderful thing they get to do, and that is give back and to serve and to help young young men, young gentlemen like that to overcome obstacles. I mean, just to be a part of it, whether they're the facilitator or not, I'm sure they get a great uh, fulfilling joy from it. And the one word I loved you said as a key word is surrender. You know, that, it's, it, that, that speaks volumes in so many ways. It's surrender from your ego, surrender from the way you always thought it should be done, surrender to allow others to help you. Uh, so many things that that can go in that, that are so appropriate for what you do for people oh my goodness and the fact that you onboard them or interview them by starting out to see what makes them what makes them tick from the ticker <laughs> right from the heart Absolutely. Uh, and that's amazing uh it, and you don't look so much at their technical abilities and it's interesting because i had now have four apprentices i'm looking for a fifth and i have a similar approach and it works very well it's yeah. it's yeah there's got to be some sense of technical skills they don't have to be the exact ones I'm looking for because if they have that, if they have the heart, if they have the drive, if they have the desire, they'll learn much faster than someone who already knows it who has no heart in doing anymore. And they'll surpass. It's happened. That's why I say that. I have, yeah. I've had an apprentice that came in and just crushed it, had no video editing uh, experience at all, and created the most amazing videos uh, that I had ever seen uh, from no experience to superstar because she had all those qualities you're talking about. Uh, so that. I'm reiterating that only for people that are looking to scale their business to, you know, consider this approach. And, and maybe if Terry Lynn's willing to share her secret later about what those questions are to draw those pictures, um, <laughs> that would be awesome too, because uh, there might be somebody sitting across from me right now that might be a little curious about that. Um, cause I was like, Oh, Oh, come on, say one, but I don't, I don't want you to, I don't want you to give that away here. Uh, maybe later when we're talking, uh, after the show, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun. Um, you have an amazing culture. Uh, obviously that's what stem, you know, that's what gets people so, so motivated to really kick butt, not just for you. That's the thing, right? Terry Lynn, you're the leader. They're not there to kick butt for you, even though they love you and they are partly there to get your approval. They're more there for the people to give them the result, the change, the shifts in their lives. Because once they experience it, it's probably like, uh, you know, a drug, a legal drug that you just, you have the only way to replace it is to get that sore fix, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and so it's amazing what you do. Uh, here's here's a, a big one. Okay. You, you've had many, many glorious, mo I can, cannot imagine how many just wonderful moments in your business uh, doing this. Do you have a story of what you would consider to be the absolute to date? Uh, and this isn't to compare, compete with anyone else and say it's a better moment than anything else. What has been your most satisfying moment in your business to date? Oh my gosh, that is a t that's a tough because there's so many are going through my head. I think applicable to the corporate world, um, I think, because I think that that applies to probably a lot of the listeners today is oh my goodness so it was a small organization of um men and women you know just average men and women and they came out to a, a ropes course that we have in malibu and up goes and i have to i have to describe this because it kind of makes me chuckle so mr hummer in his uh logo you know shirt with his cool baseball hat and the whole thing you know you know that that the whole thing um so he climbs up this 40 foot pole and he's going up step by step and the team's below on the ropes and i'm standing below watching thinking hmm, this is going to be interesting how he goes about it is he going to scale it quick is you know not feel anything you know what is he going to do so up goes this ceo and he gets to the top and you're supposed to stand up on a very small disc 
and he turns around and he sits down hmm. and he looks down at his team and he has this kind of sick look on his face and he says i have a favor to ask you and he looks down he says i would like i'm going to cry oh i'd like to climb down i like to climb down at this moment i realize i push through everything and always was seeking approval and today i want your approval by allowing me to climb back down this pool and just be a regular human being that doesn't have to be Mr. Mm -hmm. Hummer CEO. That team starts clapping their brains out. They were so excited and that's what they wanted. They wanted to connect with this man. Mm -hmm. They didn't care about his wealth or his looks or his Hummer. They wanted to connect and be a part of something. Mm -hmm. And, you know, down he came and into their arms he went. But th that, and that was many, many years ago. But for some reason that really stuck out to me. Wow. That was awesome. It that's was so awesome. Such a powerful story. I mean, yeah. uh, that's tugging on the emotional heartstrings here because I remember that poll. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I never, remember yeah. you. I remember you specifically because I don't, I don't want to give too much away, but you already yeah. mentioned it's a 40 foot pole. Um, yeah, yeah. And I made it to that top little bitty disc thing. I don't know what you, why you call it. That's, oh, man, I was like, that's it when I got up there. Right. Uh, so, and then, wait, I got to turn? Oh, come on now. And uh, I just remember uh, the, the everything, my legs and everything were just la, 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 like crazy. And yeah. it went on for a little while, and you masterfully waited the, just the right amount of time, and you looked up. You were looking up the whole time, but you said, Brian, breathe, mm -hmm. yes. just breathe. And I did that and immediately the pole stopped. And I was like, oh man, this is awesome. Because before that, before that moment climbing that pole, I thought I was afraid of heights. Right. I thought I was afraid of heights. Red actually, after I came down, clarified that I wasn't actually afraid of heights. I was more afraid of falling than I was of the height I was at. And I was like, holy moly, he's absolutely right. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely right. I was like, man, that's been a game changer. That's why I'm able to go up to the Eiffel Tower and stand at the top and, you know, just be uh, a little bit of, uh, of fear in the very beginning, but just for a microsecond, then I'm like, oh, I'm good. And because now I know it's, I'm not going to fall. I'm good. Right. I love being up high. It's fun. It's a great view. <laughs> We call that embracing the fear. I don't know if the fear is people say, well, oh, why are you here? Oh, oh, I'm here because I'd like to get rid of my fear. <laughs> we just laugh. Well, we probably can't give you that today. But what we can yeah. is the opportunity to embrace that fear to propel you forward. And it sounds like that is what you did, Brian. Yeah, yeah. It, it helps you to push through it. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't disappear. You're right. That's that's fantastic. It's not going anywhere. No, yeah. but thankfully, I would be a billionaire if I could get rid of everybody's fear. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's thankfully. I mean, some of those are like instinct, and they're good fears to have. You know, it's like I shouldn't be up here. This isn't safe. There's the fear. Okay, thank you, fear. I'm going to get out of this spot. Um, right. You know, I'm being I'm being chased by a lion. I should have fear to run. <laughs> those are good. That's when our ego is okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> the cool thing it taught me was you can break through um, those barriers that you used to think were so powerful and had you in their grip. Uh, yes. It's like, you know what? That wasn't that bad. That was actually, and actually in the way you guys do it, it was fun. And then exhilarating when you get past it and meet, you know, hit the end of that. Uh, which that part was a lot of fun. I'm not going to give that part away. That was too good. Um, <laughs> the ending of that is amazing. So if you want to know what the ending is to a 40-foot pole, stand on top, ying, ying, ying with your legs, make a turn, and then there's an ending. If you want to know what that is, call Terry Lynn and Red and find out what that is. They won't tell you either because you have to go and experience it, and I hope you do. That was the defining moment for me, and then the rest was also uh, very, de oh gosh, oh, I would love to recant everything we did, but it was so fun, so fun, and so results generating, and so humanizing, just, gosh, I don't know, all the adjectives that come to mind are just, they seem not to do it justice, they're just so many great ones, um, my goodness, I, you know, uh, gosh, we're already five minutes away from the end, I cannot believe it, um, you know, when it comes to being an entrepreneur, yes. you've been doing this quite a long time, yes, um, and if you were to think of that compared to maybe not being an entrepreneur, maybe working for someone else, if you could, and this is kind of another challenge, if you could in one word 
for everyone watching and listening, characterize your life as an entrepreneur, what would that just one word be? It, okay, purpose. Mm. Purpose. Purpose. Yes. Whew, that hits to the core. I love it. I mean, that just hits to the core of you. <laughs> That's what I mean. And, that, and it's a great thing because it's so, yeah, it's obviously you. There's no doubt. There is one more um, deeper question I want to ask you. And this is something that I ask every guest who comes on the show. It's really, I, I'm so blessed to get to do what I do. Terry Lynn, mm -hmm. you have no idea. It is amazing because of people like you. Amazing, amazing, wonderful people like you. And that is, I ask a question, the same question, and the answer is really uh, interesting. I'll just say that. And before I do that, because that'll be the closing question of the show, I want to first um, make good on my promise earlier to let everyone know how they can win that yes. vacation stay, five night stay at a five star resort in Mexico, luxury resort, compliments of powertexting.com. And here, if you're watching, you see it on the screen. This is for you watching live. What you want to do is take out your phone and first enter the phone number 661 535 1624 and then down in the message area right where you always text your buds and your family type in the word p e a k peak and then hit that little send icon that's there on your texting application go ahead and do that right now 661-535-1624 enter that phone number and then punch in the word peak p e a k and hit the send button so you can get the opportunity to win a trip we give away every single week to a five night stay at a five star luxury resort in Mexico. And I promise you one thing, I promise you that you will not be snared into a timeshare or anything like that when you arrive. It is nothing like that. And the reason I know is the owner, the, the founder of powertexting.com who sponsors this and gives us this privilege to give these vacations away, tested it himself with his daughter and reported back it was the most amazing trip they had had together in a long, long time. And there were no uh, shenanigans going on on the back, uh, so to speak. So back to the woman of the hour, Terry Lynn Werner, founder of Soar Team. Amazing, amazing, amazing woman. Amazing power couple with Red. Um, Red is uh, her significant other, I guess. Can we I say that? Well, he's he oh he's significant. Yeah, he's here to stay. <laughs> he's, he's my hero. I, and I say I'm not even joking. Oh yeah, no, he's my husband. Yeah, and he's my hero too because he was often <laughs> holding the the safety harness rope line when we That's were right. up in, uh, you know, in in heights we shouldn't be normally, but it was awesome. <laughs> I felt I never ever once. I'll, I'll just say this, and he he can probably hear. I never once felt that um, my life was in danger or that I would even get injured. And I knew I'm not a small dude. I'm like 6'2", 230, close to 230. And I could jump and know he was going to have, he was at my back and yes. do all the things that we did. And so um, that was a wonderful comfort to have, to have this big lumbering dude named Red with his big red hair. And, you know, I was like, oh, he's got everybody. We're good. Yeah. So it's a very safe thing uh, that you do. I want to throw that out there for anyone who might be curious. Uh, 40 foot pole, how safe is it? Very. Oh my gosh, uh, they take this seriously. Uh, Terry Lynn and Red Soar team does, and they would never put you in harm's way. I know that. Um, there's just it's, it's too much at stake in so many different ways. Uh, it just wouldn't happen. So know that you're safe. Know that you're going to have great results, and give her a call. And we're going to give you that contact information. I promise. We're still doing it, but I want to get this one last question in before uh, we do that. And um, here's the thing, Terry Lynn, to kind of ease the moment in case there's any trepidation whatsoever. I don't think there is. You look pretty calm. Here's the thing. With this question, there is no such thing as a wrong answer. Hey. It, it is impossible. And the, the reason is because it's very unique to you, the individual. Yes. And, and to put it in a different light, the only correct answer is your answer. So it doesn't matter. Now, oh, phew, just let it all let go. <laughs> and uh, here's the thing. If it takes a moment to come up with the answer, cool. Don't worry about it. Just relax like you know how to do. Um, and if it comes immediately, then say what it is. It, it's just gonna be unique to you. It's phenomenal. Are you ready? I am so ready. Fantastic. I can't wait. This is one of my favorite parts of the show. All right, here we go. Terry Lynn Werner, Please. how do you define success?
when I'm full of joy, when I know people are winning around me, when my family's happy, and when I'm living my greatness, Brian, and I think we all know when we're living our greatness and when we're not, it's when I'm living my greatness. Mm, deep. And, oh, I, I didn't even mention this. No two people have answered that exactly the same way, and neither did you. I mean, it just, I, at some point, there has to be someone that answers it the same way. That's what I love about this question. It is so unbelievably unique to each individual. And, you know, par for the course, you, along with every other one, it was not about money. No. You know, those that are um, more scarcity mindset that are more in the beginning of their entrepreneur walk might say, well, I'll be successful when I make my first mill. You know, it yes. might be money centric. Yes. And even when or if they say that, that's still not the real reason, is it? It's what does money provide you? It provides you the liberation, the freedom and the power to serve more people. Yes. To change more lives. Yes. Not only yours, not for the nice cars and great houses and whatever it is that you personally desire, not you, Terry Lynn, but everyone watching, listening. Um, it's, it's really, that's what, a, to me, that's the essence of a true entrepreneur is someone who wants to serve because I've not met a successful entrepreneur that does not have that in their blood. Successful entrepreneur being the key, successful being the key word there. Um, yes. Those that are on their path to become successful are learning. Some of them are learning. I need to shift it from what am I going to get, like you said earlier, Terry Lynn, to how can I serve? How can I give? What can I do to help them? And once that happens, watch out. You're going to see magnificent yes. changes in your business. That's why I love everything you've said tonight, uh, Terry Lynn. And I want to give uh, folks a way to connect with you to really, and, and really people, when, when Terry Lynn gives you this information, connect with them, be respectful, know that they are professionals at what they do, and know that she has a service that gives results, that no matter what, if, you, if you're a fit and you decide to go forward, which you should, I highly recommend it, no matter what the cost, no matter what the location, no matter where you're coming from, do whatever it takes to get there, to soar with her and her team. Uh, Terry Lynn, how can people best get in touch with you to make that initial conversation happen? Okay, thank you. Um, info, uh, the, the best way is really an email. Then it gives me an opportunity to look at it, that who you are as a group. And so when I do call you back, then we can talk about what you're looking for and all that. So it'd be info, I-N-F-O, at SOAR, S-O-A-R, like a bird. So info at SOARteam.net. And um, the phone number is 909-866-7627. If you forget that, it's 866-SOAR, S-O-A-R. So yeah, and please, I would I would love to hear from you and, and uh, talk about what it is you're looking for. I think that we could provide that. Yeah, and if, they're, uh, if they have any blessing and luck like I did, they get to do it in Big Bear, which is such a beautiful place. I'm sure Malibu is too, a Big Bear in, oh my goodness, what a gorgeous setting you, you guys have there. Uh, a pristine like mirror lake uh, there. Uh, beautiful woods. You smell nothing but nature, which is pine and fresh air. And it's cooler than where I live right now, which is uh, brutally hot. It's 102 today here in Lancaster in the desert. And uh, it's what, 85 or so? You say you're, you're going through a heat wave of your own. And I just thought, come on. Uh, <laughs> right. About 85, exactly. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you so much uh, for everything, Terry Lynn. My goodness. I can't believe we've hit the bewitching hour, but we have the end. Um, I cannot express my gratitude for you uh, anymore, I don't think. I, I'll try, I'll do my best because I still want to. Uh, for both you and your husband, Red, you guys are phenomenal. You're changing lives. Continue to do so for as long as you desire, that you both desire, please, because uh, you offer something that is such a gift. That's the best way to say it. You're, you offer a gift, uh, both of you collectively, your entire organization. Thank them again on behalf of myself and everyone that's gone through there. Uh, so appreciate you. Gosh, I just want to keep going all night, but um, we do have to call it at some point and respect those that are watching and listening. Um, any last parting words before we uh -huh. call it a night there, Terry Lynn? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think that I want everybody to write this one down. It's because it's not rocket science, but it's really important to put it down. Love your neighbor as yourself. Mm. Everything you do, love your neighbor as yourself. And that's just you start there. Just start there. It's not rocket science and then build on that. Oh, perfect. Thank you so very much. 
All right, well, that is it for now. As much as I want to carry this out for another two or three hours, because I easily could, and I know Terry Lynn could too, I want to say once again, thank you again, Terry Lynn. Uh, thank you all for watching and listening. We had a good audience tonight. Uh, and for those of you that watch and listen after the show, please be sure to reach out to Terry Lynn and Red through info at soarteam.net at the email address info at soarteam.net or call 909-866-SOAR, S-O-A-R, or if you want the number, it's 7627 at the end. Thanks once again, Terry Lynn, and all watching and listening. Until next time. Be blessed, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye now. Good night. Thank you for watching and listening. This has been the Mind Body Business Show with Brian Kelly.